everybody how's it going so today I wanted to do a little video blog um, I've been feeling a little lazy um, to videotape today uh, I went to the museum uh, memorial of, for peace in Hiroshima and it has been a very emotional day um, and aside from kind of feeling a little too lazy to record I felt like it was disrespectful to point my camera at anything related to the uh, atomic bombing um, especially because uh, the monuments and everything that, that was built uh, the memorial uh, peace park uh, you know those things were built to raise awareness about what happened and to reflect on the mistakes of the past and to prevent of course that something like that happens again um, and I felt like it would be disrespectful to point your camera at it or take selfies or you know I just don't feel like that's the right place to do that um, especially when thousands of lives um, were lost. So here's a map of Hiroshima. Here's the uh, Peace Memorial Park, which is where I went. Um, beautiful park um, to advocate for peace worldwide. Uh, there is the, uh, the National Peace Memorial Hall for the uh, atomic bomb victims which is where they have the uh, 140,000 uh, tiles representing uh, each of the lives that were lost and uh, also in there there is a uh, fountain which uh, is in the shape of a clock uh, which is stopped at 8.15 in the morning which was the time when the atomic bomb was dropped on August 6 1945 and uh, over here you have the atomic bomb dome uh, which is a building that was uh, destroyed and the Japanese government decided Japanese people decided to uh, keep it uh, as it is in rumbles as a reminder of uh, the destruction that was caused during the bomb I am just outside of the uh, Hiroshima castle you can see right there it is a uh, I believe it's an exact replica of the one that was destroyed uh, during the atomic bomb I really 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 hate how disrespectful people can be uh, and how insensitive they can be uh, especially when they're tourists and they feel like they just have to take pictures of everything um, there were some people behind me who were tourists and they were uh, at the uh, National Peace Memorial Hall for the atomic bomb victims. These people were just being so loud and obnoxious and uh, having an a impertinent, irrelevant conversation, uh, you know, at a place where you should be reflecting and, and, and you know, it, it, it was meant to reflect on the lives that were lost and I feel like these people were totally disrespecting that. I feel like for me it was just a learning experience and I didn't really have to record that um, aside from it just being disrespectful. Um, plus that stuff's all on the internet. I feel like anybody can uh, just look it up on YouTube. Uh, I mean on, uh, I feel like anybody can just look it up on Google and find images of the, uh, you know, the, the, the the destruction that that was caused. Um, the city was left in rumbles, uh, and so many people were, you know, so many people died, and um, so many others were injured and later died because of their injuries and after effects, you know, cancers and uh, things like that. So uh, I feel like that's. You know, if anybody can, if anybody wants to really see that, they can easily find it on the internet. 
Uh, I think once you uh, come to a place like this, it is better to just reflect and learn um, and, uh, and pay respect to uh, the victims and the victims' families. This place is now more relevant um, than ever because it, that's <laughs> the, the Japanese government built it for that reason, to make sure that this doesn't ever 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 happen again and to uh, advocate for a uh, world free of nuclear weapons and weapons of mass destruction, uh, weapons which can completely obliterate entire cities in a matter of seconds. I feel like now more than ever we need to uh, make sure we spread a, a message of peace. Uh, seeing these things, uh, you can come to Hiroshima and see it for yourself. It is way better. Uh, pictures don't do really justice or videos can't really do justice to the real thing. Uh, but also you can Google it and learn more about it. Um, I feel like the real lesson to take away from all of this, uh, which uh, obviously I, th I feel like the Japanese people and the Japanese government have learned about it, they don't really uh, deny the fact that they, they were in, in a war and uh, they don't really blame uh, anybody for what happened. Uh, if anything, they blame the fact that war is just war is not good. War should not be waged. And I think that's the real moral story here. Uh, and the Japanese people know it and they want to advocate for it. Uh, and I feel like the rest of the world should follow suit and just spread a message of peace and abolish completely uh, the use of uh, nuclear and uh, weapons of mass destruction. I feel like that's the moral of the story and uh, I feel like we as a human race uh, should uh, follow Japan's example and uh, continue to spread this message. So anyway, that's my video blog for today. Um, I'm gonna try to get some food maybe and then I'm gonna head back home to Miyajima, which is where uh, I've been working for about a week now at a hostel uh, for work, uh, well, doing work away. So uh, I still got about three more weeks there in Miyajima and then I am going to be going to a small city called Yugawara, which is very close to Mount Fuji, uh, closer towards Tokyo. And uh, I'll be there for a month, again, work, working at another hostel. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.